Hey girlies, welcome back. Okay, so today we have, I'm calling it our annual denim try on and review, something like that. So about a year ago, I filmed a video where I tried on every pair of jeans in my closet for you. I'm pretty sure, oh my gosh, I should have gone back and watched it. I can't remember if I organized it by brand or by style. Um, I will link it though because it's going to be different than this one. There's going to be some jeans in that video that might not be in this one. So if you want to see it, but this is going to be my updated denim collection. Now, what I'm going to do today, as you can see, I've got a bunch of jeans behind me and that's not even all of my jeans, but I'm going to gather all of my jeans first and I'm going to make piles of I'm keeping, I want to try it on. I'm not sure if I want to keep them. And then I might have a pile of like, I'm getting rid of these. I actually already have some jeans that I have set aside that I want to post onto my Poshmark. I think I'm going to talk to you about all of them. This video is probably going to get long. I'm obviously, I don't know right now, but I'm thinking it's going to be at least like a 40 minute video. So, you know, grab a coffee, a snack, whatever. <laughs> um, but I'm excited because it is so hard to buy jeans, right? And it's so hard to know like what size and what the style is going to look like. Now, obviously not all of you are going to have my same like height and size, but that's okay. A lot of you do because I feel like that's why you follow me. But it's just going to give you a better idea. I am like holding you on the camera today. I don't usually do that for the video. I will put you up on a stand here soon. But I wanted to just kind of give you a look of like there's all my jeans that are hanging. And then I've got some more jeans. I know it's weird with the lighting. I've got some more jeans on my closet piece. I've got some jeans on the floor. We've just got jeans... We have jeans all over the place. So, okay, <laughs> I'm excited though. I've been putting off doing this a little bit because I knew it was gonna be time consuming, but my husband is currently out of town this weekend. So I've got the day off. Um, yeah, if you guys are new here, my name is Carrie. I post a lot of try-ons, a lot of Abercrombie, a lot of style videos. I put up a video every Friday, although this might be like a bonus video. And yeah, join us if you're new, subscribe, all that stuff. Now, every pair, okay. So first I'm gonna make the three piles and then um, I'm gonna try every pair on for you. Do not worry. Um, the jeans that I know I don't want to keep, I'll probably just pop up a picture of like a time that I did wear them. And then the jeans that I'm not sure about, I'm going to try on with you in like real time, kind of like more vlog style. And then the jeans that I know I'm love and keeping, I will like split the screen and I will be wearing them with like the same tank or something, kind of like what I did last year. Um, and all the jeans will be down below. I think I will... I'll have some sort of labeling system so that you can just go to like the number or whatever down below and shop the jeans. Sizing will be on there for sure. Like what size is it? Is it my true size? What length is it? Is it Curve Love? If it's Abercrombie, all of that. Most of my jeans are Abercrombie, but I still have some from American Eagle. I've got a Gold Day jeans, a pair of Pistola, a pair of Page, all a little bit more expensive, but I really like them. Levi pair that wouldn't have been in last year's. I know I'm rambling, but a lot of you don't mind it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so step one, and I don't know, maybe you want to watch this and go through your denim closet too. It could be kind of fun because as I'm doing this, I'm going to get a really good idea of what denim I have in my closet. And obviously I have way too much, but I'm going to get an idea of like style and wash. And if there's anything I feel like, oh, I wish I had this. I also have jeans that aren't blue denim. Like I've got black, I've got white, tan, brown, I'm doing it all, girls. Every pair of denim jeans, we are just, we're doing it. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, it's already been five minutes. I'll probably edit some out. But step one, I'm gonna gather all my jeans, make my pile, and then I'll see you back. Maybe you guys should do that too. Gather all your jeans, make like, I love these, I know I wore these last week, make that I know I don't want these, and then make the like, I'm not sure I need to try them on. <laughs> Step 
step one is done. That's probably the easiest step. Um, it was pretty easy because I know um, the jeans I'm getting rid of, like I said, I had already put them aside. And then um, I'll, I'll tell you basically what made me put the jeans into the I'm not sure pile. These are all the yes. It's a lot. They are like double folded, but these are all jeans I know I wear all the time or they're new jeans. Like these oat ones are new. Um, so just absolutely know without a doubt, I am keeping all of these. So these will definitely be in like the finished my jeans collection. Um, these are the I'm not sure. And then these are the nose. So let's talk about the nose first. Cause like I said, I'm not going to try these on for you right now. Um, because I know I don't want them anymore, but if I have a, a picture or clip of me wearing them at some point, I will pop them up on the screen. Um, all right. So with Abercrombie, what you're basically going to see is that I decided I no longer wanted the ankle straight ultra high rise style. Um, I think Abercrombie has so many jeans and we definitely know I love Abercrombie jeans. That is the majority of my denim collection. Um, and I would say I've probably been wearing, I'm trying to think of when I started wearing Abercrombie denim again, because there was a good decade of not wearing them, but let's say like three years, it may like only be two. It may be when I started this. Um, but either way, at this point, I know the styles that I like. And when they come out with a new style, yes, I try it. But because I have styles I love so much, this became a style I never wanted to wear. If I was going to go in my closet and grab a pair of jeans, I really wasn't going to want to grab this style. So I decided... I'm just going to get rid of this style. So the ankle straight ultra high rise, I was getting them in reference for reference, um, in the curve love size 26, just regular. And I actually wore these when I went to, um, Beverly Hills over the summer. When I look back at the picture, like they look so good, but I'd rather get this color, which actually this is good. Um, all right, I'm going to start making a note in my phone. And you should do the same thing if you want to. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to start making notes. So I would like a cream pair of denim, but I want them to be like either the 90s straight jeans or like mom jeans or mom style, which would be really good. But I haven't seen Abercrombie. I'll have to check. I don't think they've done the mom jeans and the cream. Maybe they have the 90s ultra high rise straight jeans. Um, so I want to get, I like the color, but I'd rather have them in a different style. And I just know that at this point. And because I do this channel and I try a lot of stuff for you girls and I definitely try a lot of Abercrombie stuff, um, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I like it and I keep it, but I need to be better about, okay, but do I really like it? Um, and I just, I don't like this style. So this style is going to go. I've got the cream pair. These are all going to be up on my Poshmark if you're interested, which is always linked down below. And then these are same style in black. I actually think my mom gave me these because she didn't want them anymore. And then the same style in just a blue denim with a frayed bottom. And it looks like the black ones aren't curved love, but... They do all fit me. And then the other pair that I have in my get rid of, which I actually have a picture, which I'll pop up of me wearing these about a year ago and they look so good, uh, but they don't anymore. So my body's a little bit different. So these are just, they're too snug on me now. They are the American Eagle mom straight jean which is a style I was loving a year ago and they're also super distressed which I'm kind of on, on the fence of if I really want any like blown out knee denim anymore let me know your thoughts down below I've actually got comments in the past from people 
really like hating on distressed jeans, um, which, you know, like if you don't like them, then don't get them. But sometimes I feel like I do like them, but I don't know how if I'll really purchase anymore. I might just keep a couple pairs in my closet. But either way, I'm getting rid of these. They're just my true size to as well but that's it for my I'm getting rid of I did get rid of other jeans um, this year though so like I said some that would have been in my last video you're not even gonna see today cuz they're they're long gone so those are the no's now we'll get into the maybes or I'm not sure all right guys so we're gonna move on to pile number two and I do hang up all my jeans, um, so they're all on hangers. I'm actually gonna link these hangers for you guys too, down below, because they're awesome. I get rose gold, I'm sure they come in other ones, um, but then you can like hook the hanger, so I'll a lot of times keep like the same style, like all my mom jeans, like hanging together. Um, all right, so the ones that I put in my I'm not sure pile are basically, um, okay, my dad jeans from Abercrombie. I find that I don't like grab dad jeans very often. Yes, they're baggier, which does seem to be continuously in style, but I just kind of want to try these on. I have a pair of black dad jeans that are in my keep, and I had sized down in them. They're not distressed. I love them. They are one of my like top three favorite pairs. But in these three dad jeans, these are all curve love. And they're all 26, my normal. And I've got like a medium distressed. I've got a light wash distressed. And then I've got like a medium darker wash non-distressed. And I'm just not sure if I want all these. So we're going to try all three of those on together. And then I have two pairs of Abercrombie skinny jeans, which I'm inclined to keep these because I feel like I've been hearing skinny jeans are coming back. Uh, I definitely haven't worn these in the last year. I know like two years ago I was still wearing them, um, but I've got like an, this acid wash pair. Okay, when I was wearing these, every single time I wore these, someone would come up to me and be like, oh my God, I love your jeans, where did you get them? And I mean, they were not available. They were like right away, you couldn't get them. And then I have this like dark wash skinny pair. So Abercrombie still has skinny jeans, which I can link, but I, again, I don't think they have these, but I just want to try these on and be like, do I want to keep these around for when skinny jeans are back or will I just like buy skinny jeans again when they come back? I can tell you for sure any like super skinny jeans have made their way out of my closet. And then my last uh, few here that I'm like unsure about, well, I shouldn't say few, um, um, are all American Eagle. I think that I already told you that one American Eagle pair I'm getting rid of. So every other American Eagle pair, I just want to try them on because like I said, I wear my Abercrombie all the time. And then I recently started investing on in like the Agul Day and Page jeans. So I, I'm making myself try on all these American Eagle jeans and see if I really like them or not. Really like them or not. So they're like mom stretch jeans, the mom straight jeans, like I showed you. And I even have like, a gray distress pair and then like a like blacky pair um, so five pairs of those so it looks like we've got five six seven we have ten pairs in the I'm not sure pile and again if I don't keep them they're gonna go up onto my Poshmark but somebody else love them okay let's try them on and see if any of them make the cut to the keep and while I'm trying them on, you should try on your I'm not sure pile also. I'm going to start with the three pairs of Abercrombie dad jeans. I may have misspoke earlier. I'm not sure if I even said it, but they are all the dad high rise. They're all curve love. Obviously, I'm going to have all that information up for you. So you don't have to be like writing it down or anything. Um, but... One of the pairs is actually short and the other two pairs are regular. And I've said this in past videos, but I have a couple pairs of jeans that are short 
and I'm not short, I'm 5'7", and I honestly don't recall if I ordered them by mistake or if it was because it was the only size they have because I don't see myself ever ordering short, but I do have two or three pairs that are. So just letting you know, I'll let you know when I have the short pair on so that you can see the difference. Girls, these are the first dad jeans that I'm putting on. Uh, these are the pair that I feel like I was going to be more and the most inclined to keep. So I put them on first, mainly because there's no distressing. I love the wash of these. They're like a medium dark wash. Now when I link all the jeans down below for you, I'm going to do my best to find the exact wash. Um, if it's not available, I'll just link the style, obviously. Um, and if the wash is available, I'll kind of like put in parentheses the wash. Because when you go to the link, it might not bring you to the exact wash. You, you know what I'm talking about. But so these, like I said, these are 26 regular and they they fit very nicely. So I have a little bit of room in my face, but not a lot. So like, I feel like it's a good amount. I went ahead and just put this crop top on. I feel like it'll be the best to try the jeans on. That way you can see like where they're hitting. My belly button is about there. Um, and you just get a really good idea of the fit. So you'll see when I put on my black ones later on, like there are 25 and they, they fit just as well. So it's just, it's one of those things where sometimes you can do two sizes. I know a lot of people do size down in the dad jeans, but this particular pair is good for me. Um, like just a little bit in the waist, but really again, not too much. So I am going to move these to the keep. Next pair of dad jeans, same as the last ones, same size, same style, curve love. Um, but I feel like they don't fit the same. Um, and maybe they do. I don't know. This is what gets tough because they, oh, this is hard guys. I wish I had like the exact pair in 25 to compare because I love how they fit like through the leg and they're supposed to be baggier. Although I feel like this pair does do a little bit of that whole like buckling in the crotch, which I hate. And I feel like if the last pair did it, it just wasn't as noticeable. These feel a little bit bigger in the waist, but it's probably the same. I mean, right? They're the same jeans. Um, but I, I don't know, right? This is where I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, we don't want everything to be tight. The whole idea is like, you know, wearing looser fitting jeans. I think for me, it's just like, I don't mind if jeans are loose, but I want them to fit my waist. Like, and I think that's why for me, I'm almost starting to wonder like 25 curve love is probably more like my true size because I need the two extra inches in the thighs, but I need the waist to be, a 25 unless I'm gonna be like tucking in a sweater which I'm not a bodysuit's gonna fit in there fine too um, yeah so I don't know they're not horrible again it's just like there's just a it's really just that gap it's that gap so I'm gonna tell you guys like size down size down or yeah um, You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I've been wanting to do this. I wanna actually measure my waist <laughs> because, yeah, let's do it. So when you measure, I'm gonna just undo those. You're not gonna see anything. You're supposed to measure like the smallest part of your waist. So you measure at the smallest part to really see like what the size is. Okay, so right now, if I measure the smallest part of my waist, okay, I get 25 and a half. So I guess, there you have it. I think that's why I always get confused. Like, is 25 my true size or is 26 my true size? So 25 and a half, there you have it. Um, but yeah, right? Okay. Hmm.
I'm still going to have these as like on my great last pair of dad jeans from the unsure pile. Now these are the exact same again, obviously different wash, some different distressing going on, but these are the ones that I bought in short. So they're 26 short, so obviously they're shorter. They're not too short by any means. They feel a little bit maybe more tapered in the legs too, but they're still really big in the waist. I mean, I could start to like roll them over. So I think I've I think I've settled on, um, I think I'm going to get rid of these and the last pair. I actually just went on the site and um, put a pair in my cart that's like the last pair where they're light wash but not distressed in 25s. So I think I'm going to get rid of these two pairs and get those. Um, to kind of replace and I'm still going to keep that medium darker wash from the beginning. I don't know why I felt like those weren't as bad. I could end up changing my mind though. So definitely um, with the dad jeans, I think you just got to go down the size. I needed a snack break. And we've barely gotten started, but the time that you're seeing my time is much longer because I have been filming other things on the side, but I'm thinking I might not get all this done today. I don't know why I'm filming these and Cheez Its. These are good though. They're Cheez Its snapped. Oh, they're not your normal cheese up. Ron got them and they're double cheese. Mmm. Girls, it was weird putting on skinny jeans, like putting them on and feeling them be like so tight along your legs as if you're putting on leggings. I just haven't done it for so long. Um, I don't hate them. Like for a skinny jean, they're very cute. And like I said, like I love this like acid wash. Um, yeah. These are 26, per love, all of that. Um, I'm going to keep these. Even though I'm not going to wear them right now, I'm just going to put them in the back of my closet. I got to say, girls, I'm putting on these skinny jeans, and I don't hate them. And quite frankly, skinny jeans were all I wore for a long time. A long time. Like, maybe not quite 10 years, but a very long time. I wouldn't consider any jean that wasn't skinny jeans. Probably from, like, 25 to 35. So when I put these on, I'm just like, yeah, I like them. I like them. Do I wear them? No, I don't wear them because I'm trying to stick with the styles. But I like them. On to our American Eagle jeans. Like I said, I have five pairs to try on. This first pair, these are American Eagle mom jeans. They do have the little tag on them that says stretch because some of the mom jeans do not have that. Honestly, their mom jeans they fit differently than the Abercrombie mom jeans. Like they're more fitted. They're obviously not as tight as the skinny jeans I just had on, but they're definitely closer to them. These are just a regular size two and I like them. I think I'm going to keep these. I like them for sure. This is good though. Cause me putting these on now I can remember like, I like these. I need to grab them when I get Dress. And these just have like very minimal spots of distressing. Hey, already, this is another pair I'm not sure about. So these are, of course, still American Eagle. These are mom straight with the stretch. So that pair from the beginning that I showed you I was getting rid of that were American Eagle, that were mom straight, they're, they weren't stretch. So that's why I don't like how they fit anymore because they just don't have any give and they were baggy on the waist, um, but just like tight everywhere else. So these, because they have the stretch, um, these fit very well. I'm not sure about all the distressing. I know when I wore these, when I say like last spring, um, I remember wearing them and like getting compliments and they looked super cute in pictures and all of that, but oh, I'm just not sure about this distressing. So these are going to stay, I think these are staying in the maybe pile. Okay, as I was putting these on, I was like, oh no, I know I've worn these recently. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, these aren't going anywhere. These are mom street jeans also um, with the stretch little tag. And they obviously have very minimal distressing, a little bit right there. And then just like here, here, I, yeah. I've worn these 
I definitely wore these in the last month or two, so I'm definitely keeping these. They just kind of got thrown in with the rest of the American Eagle ones. These are mom jeans again with the stretch tag. They're just a very faded black. Um, my Abercrombie black jeans are definitely darker, and these are just a faded look, but I love these. Yep. Yeah, I just, I just needed to put these on to remember how much I like. I think the lesson I should get from today is that I shouldn't buy any more jeans. Um, these are the last American Eagle pair. They are mom jeans. I don't think they had the stretch tags, so they're a little bit more rigid. But I love this color gray. They have the blown out knees and then a little bit there. And also what I do with my distressed jeans, like when I go to wear them, I usually cut off like all the frayed pieces that have occurred maybe since they were last worn or since the last wash. And that way I feel like they're distressed, but they're like a cleaned up version. Um, but yeah, I like these, especially because I have no other, I have one other pair of gray denim, I believe, but they're not distressed and they're like super tight. So they're just completely different. And yeah, I am definitely, I'm definitely my sweatshirt back on because that was the conclusion of part two, which was to try on all of the jeans in the unsure pile. And I definitely have jeans that I for sure moved to the yes pile, but there's still a couple in like the not sure pile. But what I'm going to do next is take all the jeans that I know I am definitely keeping and I'm going to organize them by brand. I think last year, I think I organized them by style like mom jean, dad jean, but this year I'm gonna do brand. That way um, it will be easier for you to like skip through um, if you don't care about particular brands. And the brands are gonna be Abercrombie, American Eagle, a gold day. And then I think I only have one pair of Levi, one pair of Pistola, and one pair of Page. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna organize by brand, and then within brand, I'll organize by category, and then we will have my denim collection catalog, all of it. <laughs> So I just realized that I'm going to need to check the laundry because I know for a fact that my black Abercrombie dad jeans were not just in this heap. And so I need to see what jeans are possibly downstairs in the laundry. Don't forget to do that when you're going through. But any that are in the laundry, like you're obviously keeping because you wore them super recently. As I made a ton of piles and I think... I think it's like 5.30. It's been really gloomy all day, but it's starting to get pretty dark. So I think I'm not going to get through this today and I can finish it up tomorrow. Not that it's going to matter for you, but to keep it simple, I'm going to start with my jeans where I only have one of each brand. <laughs> So first, we're going to start off with Pistola. So these Pistola jeans, I haven't even worn these yet. They were a recent purchase. I actually have a YouTube video where I styled these in another pair, so I will link that if you're interested. Um, they are a cropped boot, which is a different, uh, obviously a different style. Right, and I did size down in a 25 to them with them. They've got just zipper, fly, and button, but very cute. I love they have like the white um, tag on the back. I feel like that's really cute. Obviously, that comes off. There's the frayed bottom, and then virtually no distressing. There's just a couple marks on the front.
then I also have this. These jeans are by the brand Paige. They're pretty similar, actually, because these are also... They're called the Lena Ankle, but I feel like they have a similar look at the bottom. They've got that same cut denim look at the bottom, and you'll see how they're... I feel like these are a little bit more like wider leg, though, where the Pistola are um, like the boot cut. These are true size 26, and these are a little bit gappy in my waist. So I wore these out last weekend, and initially I put on just a little black crop top, and it didn't look good because of the gapping. But then I changed to a bodysuit and it looked really good. So that can be a good trick that if you feel like you have jeans where the waist is a little bit too big, but you love how they fit, like you love them elsewise, um, then just wear them with a bodysuit because then I felt like the outfit looked so good. So Paige also has a little white tag at the back too, which is cute, but these are both more, uh, like more, they're more expensive denim. So, um, they're ones I plan to have in my closet a long time. I like the styles. I don't think that they'll go out of style, and I love the fit. Also, with both of these pairs, they're very, um, like, thin. It's not a thick, rigid denim. It's a very comfortable, soft denim. And then Levi. I have two Levi videos up so far where I have tried on multiple Levi jeans in each video and I've only kept these. I do plan on doing another, like a part three though, so be on the lookout probably next month you'll see a part three. I, there's a lot of Levi jeans I still haven't tried and Obviously, we know I don't need any more jeans, but I'm trying them out for you guys. The Levi videos have been very popular, and I think it's helpful for you guys to see how the different styles look on before you purchase them, and then you don't have to purchase as many brands, or brands and styles, right? So these are the 80s mom jeans, and I love these. When I put these on, I was so giddy. I was so excited. I just absolutely loved how they fit. So I did get them in a 26. They are definitely more of like a rigid fit. They, no distressing on them. Just a very nice, perfect wash, perfect fit. Uh, definitely, I already said they're more rigid, but they, they are thin, but not as thin as the last two pairs, but not thick. All right guys, it's actually the next day. Not that it really matters. <laughs> I put the same sweatshirt on. Um, but I have sweatpants on instead of my bike shorts because my period started last night and I'm just like, ugh. And I wore my bike shorts to yoga this morning. But, um, I'm thinking I'm just going to film the rest of, like, me talking through all the jeans, but me actually putting all the pieces on. I think I'm going to leave for another day because I just don't feel like trying them all on right now. Again, I, I tell you guys information I really don't need to, but... I like to, whatever. Okay, so we're going to move right in to more jeans. Decided that the pairs I tried on that I am keeping, I'm going to put in this section of the video also for anybody who skips through that part and just wants to get to the actual jean collection. And then that way down at the bottom, like my denim catalog will be organized with what I kept. So it'll all make sense once I have like numbers on the screen and stuff like that. So we're gonna move right into the Abercrombie skinny jeans. So I'm keeping both pairs and this is the acid wash. And they are both a 26. They're both the skinny high rise. And then this is the other pair that I'm keeping. Now, because these are a couple years old, again, I will be linking the style and possibly not the wash because I know like these were gone so quickly. But as I said in the previous part, <sighs> I decided I want to keep these even though I'm not going to be wearing them like 
anytime soon necessarily, but if I feel like I have an outfit that really needs skinny jeans or if they do kind of come back, I will already have these two pairs and I won't have to go out and buy anymore. And again, these aren't like super skinny. You can see in the clips, like they're fitted, but they're not like jegging. They're not like painted on. And I feel like that's why I like them. Okay, the next category is going to be Abercrombie mom jeans because I have quite a few pairs of mom jeans. I would say right now at this current point in time, the Abercrombie mom jeans and the Abercrombie 90 straight jeans are my favorites. And then the Abercrombie black dad jeans would be like my third favorite at the moment. And I'm going to show you this mom pair would be my absolute current favorite. These are going to be like my favorite jeans right now. These are going to be tied with a wash of the 90s ones, which we'll talk about later. But these, I have been wearing these so much lately and I, I love them. I've had them, I want to say they could have been my first pair of mom jeans. I don't think that they were, but I love them. And I know this exact style is still available. It just has the blown out knee. And what I do is whenever I go to wear these, if there's any like extra strings, I just cut them. So they're like a clean blown out knee, which I really like. And all of the mom jeans have a shorter length. That's just the style. So I almost feel like they kind of fit more like a short, but I don't get a short just so that you'll be able to see when I have them on, like they're, they're short, but I like it. But my, my mom, for example, she's five, four and she'll actually get the short length. Sometimes she even gets extra short, which she just really likes the crop look. I kind of told her like, she should just stick with the short, but again, um, that's what she wants to do. And, but for me being 5'7", the regular length is perfect. And I love it, these. Continuing on with the mom high rise. And in case I don't say it with every one, like you'll know if it's curve love or not. Most of them are. But if they're not, you will know, again, exactly what I'm showing you. So these are another pair that I love. They're just a super light, light, light wash. They have just a teeny bit of distressing at the bottom. Like I think all of these mom jeans would have been in last year's video. Um, and there's the back. They're just such, such a great pair. Then this next pair, these are actually, well, actually nothing. <laughs> these are just another pair with a different distressing, blown out knees again, a little bit extra distressing. Love how they fit. Also, just when I'm wanting darker and distressed. And these, similar to the other light wash pair, except that these are a little bit darker and these just have one blown out knee there and you'll see like there's so many different washes you can choose from I do have to say that I would like a black pair of Abercrombie mom jeans and I know I've said over and over like I have too many jeans um but I don't know I love this style so much and I, we did see that I like the American Eagle ones but I I just I'm gonna add that to my list actually during my next break, I'm gonna add that. <laughs> um, and like, see, I would cut these pieces off before I wear them again, because I just don't like the hanging frayed down pieces, but that's just me. And if if there's ever like the pieces going across and like you sit down and they tear, then I just trim them. And the last one for the Abercrombie mom jeans, because the 80s ones will be separate, are just these white ones, which in all honesty, I haven't worn these a lot. I wore them for um, my Valentine's outfit video. I, I styled them a lot and kind of realized like I should be wearing these more, but just white with distressing. I think I'd probably prefer if they weren't distressed, um, but I'm going to keep them for now. And if I end up getting a mom jean non-distressed pair, then I might decide to sell these. She's having a hard time because I'm doing some laundry downstairs and the laundry the sound of the wash machine scares him. So he doesn't want to be downstairs, but he also doesn't want to be up here with me. 
and he's injured currently, so I don't want him running up and down the stairs. So I'm basically just going to make him stay in here, but he might be pacing around. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the 90s Relax Jean, which are the newest ones in my closet because they still have the tags on them. And they are the 90s Relax Jean High Rise Curve Love, but basically I just got two different washes. So I got this oat pair. I love these. They're like, they're not brown, they're not cream, they're oat. Um, I guess like a taupe, a tan, whatever. But I did size down in these and I love how they fit. And then I also got like the little trendy waist like that. And I originally did get these in 26, uh, but felt like I wanted to try the 25s because of how these had these fit. So then I got these in the 25 and I'm going to return the 26s. And they're definitely like a wider leg type jean. I can't say too much about them because I've only worn them for like quick clips so far, but I am excited to add both pairs to my closet and to style them. Here's the laundry because it really is awfully loud. Like it is very loud. Buggy, I don't want you jumping around. I'm sorry, I just, I really shouldn't have done it. <laughs> but it's like I have to get laundry done. It'll be nice to have a house again when we'll actually have a laundry room. Right now it's just like behind a door. And it's like those stackables. It's just loud. They're loud. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no bug. Okay. What do we have next? Alright, we're going to do the 80s. The Abercrombie 80s mom jeans next. Now, I have two pairs in my closet. These are size down. Generally with the 80s, you should size down. And these just have one blown out knee. They're like a medium wash. The 80s mom jeans are definitely a looser fit than the regular mom jeans. And then this is a light wash pair without any distressing. And this pair, so this pair actually isn't Curve Love, and this pair is, but they're both, they're both a 25. And then, this is actually my bag to return to the mall on Tuesday, but these are the 80s mom jeans pleated with the little pleats. These come in this light wash and a dark wash also. Now, I bought them in a 25 not in curve love and they don't fit right so I already repurchased them in the curve love size 25 so I think those are going to fit perfectly but whereas these in the non curve love are fine these were not because it basically just like pulled the pleats and you didn't see them but they will be they will be added to my jean collection so I figured we would have those in there Next is going to be the Abercrombie Dad Jeans, which you saw me try these on already, but I am keeping just this like medium to darker wash pair, and these are my true size, but I did decide that I am going to sell those other two pairs that I tried on, and I'm going to see about getting a, actually I think I might have already ordered them yesterday, uh, like a light wash pretty sure I ordered. If I did, I'll pop them up on the screen or make sure to link them too. But I'm pretty sure I ordered these in just the light wash, non-distressed in a 25. But I feel like these in the 26 were good. But the ones with the distressing, I don't know. I just, I have so many jeans. I'm selling them. Somebody will love to have them or two people, each pair, whatever. And then I'm also going to pop up a picture of me wearing my, um, dad jeans in black. I think they're down in the wash and they, I did size down in them and I love them. They look so good. Like I was saying, they're like my third favorite pair of jeans if I had to pick. I take a break from Abercrombie. Oh, I know. 
I know, so sad. <laughs> and we're gonna go into the American Eagle, which I tried every pair on already because they were all in my unsure pile, but that's okay. So let's go into the mom jeans. We have this pair with no distressing. We have this pair. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to stick with all just mom. We have this black pair, but it's definitely like more of like a washed black. No distressing. Literally the same ones, different washes. And then for mom straight jeans from American Eagle, we have this pair, which as I was trying on, I was like, oh yeah, I wore these recently. So I really like these. These are all a two. They're super soft. If you're like, remember when I was talking about, oh, I, I feel like I haven't commented about rigidity for every pair, but if I haven't said they're soft, they're probably more rigid. But these aren't as soft as like the Pistola and those, but they're soft. And then these, um, oops, sorry, these gray ones are also mom, not a mom straight, and they're a little bit more rigid, and they have the blown out knees. And then I'm still... Moving on to my gold day denim, I have three pairs. Two pairs are the Riley Crop. They have a button fly and these are a 26. These I believe are the Endless Wash. You can get the gold day jeans from like Shop Up, um, Revolve. I get them at a place called South Moon Under which I don't think I can link through like to know it anymore but love these and yes those are 26 but then I recently got them in this gray color in 25 and they both fit these are much snugger um but they both do fit these because they still have the tag on them Riley high rise straight crop I put a video up recently where I styled these a couple different ways too, which you could check out. And what I have found with the Gold Day is that I need ones that are low stretch. If they're too stretchy, they don't work for me. I just, I figured that out. I have tried on so many pairs of a Gold Day denim and the Riley, the Riley work. So I got them. And then my last pair, which is the first pair I owned, these are the 90s pinch waist. I sized down in these also. Um, these are more of a rigid pair, and they're black, obviously, with some distressed knee. So I like it because this is my only black pair of denim that has distressing, and I love them. They also have a button fly. I think maybe just all the gold they do. I mean, the ones I have to anyways. But yes, love these. I just know these are never leaving my closet you know just certain pairs just they're not going anywhere made it to our last pile it's a significant pile though but we did it so these are back to Abercrombie they're the 90s ultra high-rise straight jeans and this pair is tied for my favorite pair of denim currently along with that mom jean pair I told you about. These, oh my gosh, when I went to California over the summer, um, I didn't pack. I did not pack. It was cooler than I thought. I should have actually brought more jeans. I wore these so many times, and but I influenced so many people to buy them while I was wearing them like every other day. Or I'd like wear them during the day, and then night the next day, I would just like switch it up, whatever. But this is just the classic light wash, no distressing, I mean like minimal at the bottom there, and they just fit so, so good. True size, curve love. Then we've got them in a black pair, exactly the same, just black, no distressing. I actually wore these last night, so sometimes I actually get confused with these in my black dad jeans pair, um, but I feel like these are a little bit looser only because they're a bigger size and the dad jeans like really hug my waist better. But I'm still keeping both because I just, I like them. And like if one pair is dirty, I still have the other pair. 
I also have this pair, which is light wash, but just has this one blown out like thigh piece. But because these aren't tight, the thigh piece doesn't bother me. I know in the, that American Eagle pair, um, like it was like that thigh distress piece that was making me like not want them anymore, but these aren't snug, so it's different. And then we've got like a medium wash to darker wash with the blown out knees. These are very similar to the mom jean pair that I have, but these, um, I was going to say they're longer. So these are actually a short, which again, I don't know how I ended up with the short, but I like them. But sometimes I get confused between these and the mom jeans. Um, but if I had got the regular length, then they would definitely feel longer. And then I have them in brown, which the brown I did size down just like the black one. Or no, I didn't size down in the black ones, but the brown ones I did size down. So these, this just goes to show you that this is a style um, that you can size down in. I actually also have these in orange, which they're like packed away and I know they're not available, but when they came out last spring, they were all the hype. Like they were never in stock. They sold out so fast. Um, but I sized down in the orange ones also. So it's kind of like the non-blue I sized down. Okay, girlies, you made it to the end. If you made it to the end, put like a denim jean emoji down below in your comments. And I'll know you made it to the end. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't, go follow me on Like to Know It and Instagram and all that stuff if you want. And yeah, let me know your favorite brand of jeans and your favorite style of jeans if you want to also. And okay, last year when I did this video, I followed it up with like styling certain jeans. So again, if you want me to just style like mom jeans or whatever, let me know down below and I can do that too. Bye.